Hi, I'm Catherine Metz, and I'm here with the Polish Language American School. If you've ever visited the Polish village at the festival, you've probably had a chance to purchase po uh, Polish cultural items or unique cuisine at the booths offered by the Polish school here at our American Czesachowa. We are pleased to have the Polish school principal, Joanna Nikoluk and Agata Dajewska with us today, as well as Victoria and Patrick. And they're going to tell us briefly about the Polish American school. So how, um, how old is the Polish language school here at Czesachowa? It was started in 1999, so mm -hmm. we just celebrated our 20th anniversary, and we are about to start our 21st year. That's pretty amazing. Congratulations. And what, um, what classes are offered at what ages? So we start with a preschool class that's at age three, mm -hmm. and we go up to eighth grade. That's intense. Mm -hmm. And it's on what days did it, was, was, is that offered? So they meet on Saturdays from mm -hmm. 9 to 1. Mm -hmm. um, and it runs from September from to... The beginning of September. It's usually the week after the festival we start. Mm -hmm. And then we go to about the end of May, beginning of June, depending on how the weekends run. And how um, are they tested for their knowledge at the end? So the 8th graders, once they're done with their 8th grade class, mm -hmm. they take the... LATA exam, which mm -hmm. is the language other than English exam, and then they can get credit for that in high school. That's awesome. Very good. And how about, do you offer other ages as well? Uh, also, Polish school offer classes for adults. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to learn Polish, you are welcome to join our school. Um, it's never too late to start learning Polish. Uh, we have a lot of students and they have different reasons why they want to learn Polish. Uh, some of my students have Polish wives and they want to be able to speak Polish to them and also to their kids. When they are coming, going to visit a uh, family in Poland, they are able to have some conversation with family members. I have a very nice story from a couple of weeks. One of my students uh, asked his Polish girlfriend if she would like to marry him. And she said, tak, and tak means yes. So I'm so happy for them. And they are planning a big Polish wedding next year in Poland. Mm. Uh, also, another my student uh, won a competition mm. uh, called uh, Poland and I. And a surprise, last summer she went to Poland and she spent two weeks uh, in Krakow. And she was able to take Polish classes and also you know, discover Poland. So it's a lot of fun. And like I said, uh, it's never too late to learn Polish. So whoever wants to learn, welcome to our school. That's awesome. That, that leads into my next question then. So they're, they're really immersed into the language. So they're not only immersed into the language, but they're also immersed into the, the history and the culture. Yes. So did you want to mention how you're immerse, immersing your students into the culture and history? Maybe Victoria or Patrick could chime in. Well, we do religion, um, mm -hmm. other like some days, and then we also do uh, dancing, which we dress up in like Polish cultural outfits, and uh, we also sing Polish songs, and we do that. That's awesome. And how about extension into like the family life? Like, do you have parents or or your parents or your grandparents living with you, or do you get to visit them or talk to them on the phone? And then how do you how do you extend that? Polish language into the into your world. Yeah, my grandparents are mm -hmm. both Polish, and we normally talk to them in Polish because they don't know too much English. Mm -hmm. And um, we like help them with English if they like need help with anything. I bet that makes them feel really welcome and comfortable as well. So I understand you're going into high school. Yeah. Um, yes. And I understand that the Polish language school is starting something new. So why don't we talk about that next? Classes go up to eighth grade, and this mm -hmm. year we're going, Patrick's our first, one of our first students for the high school. Um, so we're going to be starting a new high school for high school age kids, and they're going to be getting just more immersed in the culture, the literature, um, taking field trips, and then at the end they will be taking their entrance or exit exam. It's called Matura in Poland. Mm -hmm. um, and 100 days, like in Poland, 100 days before they take that exam, they'll have the... Um, Studniówka, which is like a big dance that they have. So what else are you going to tell us about your experience as far as the Polish school? How has it helped you? How has it helped you in school? And how has it maybe helped um, some of your classmates? Maybe you've had, um, you know, encounters with people, you know, that are new to, to America. 
Well, uh, for example, in my school, there was a um, new student that came uh, directly from Poland, and he was part of ESL, English Second Language, so sometimes he also had problems with what the teacher was saying, so I could uh, translate for, uh, like English to Polish, and it was, it was very helpful, and it showed how much be, like learning a different language can help in the real, in the real world. Mm -hmm. And it probably made him feel really special, too, to have that connection with you and made him feel even more comfortable, I'm sure. Definitely. So um, how about with your parents and, and, and the importance of, you know, what kind of... How do you foresee yourself being a role model for others, I guess? Well, because both of our parents are from Poland, mm -hmm. um, like, I guess being a role model is... Um, like, just like, for example, if I have kids, I'd, I'd want them to learn Polish. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it would be great. I just want to follow in my parents' footsteps because I, I know that if we ever go to Poland and my kids go to Poland, they won't have trouble. Like, I don't have any trouble. Mm -hmm. So, you may or may not know this, but my in-laws are Polish. And so I've been married to my husband for almost 25 years. It'll be 25 years in October. So, we took a trip to Poland two summers ago. And... Funny that you say that, Patrick, because the people that were on the trip with us, on the pilgrimage with us, they're like, okay, Andrew, go talk to so-and-so, because we, we want to like, get them, you know, they're saying that it's this amount, but we want to get them to this amount. Can you, can you help us? You know, because, you know, you're, you're there, you're experiencing it, and you're, um, you know, you're teaching others at the same time. So that's a wonderful thing, and I bet, you're, I bet you'll remember that person from your elementary school, your eighth grade year. And if not, make a you know, long-term connection with that person. So that's awesome. Did anybody want to say anything else before we end our segment on our Polish language school here at the Shrine? At school, um, kids like to play together. Mm -hmm. And also, it's, uh, they got a lot of friendship. I know Patrick and Victoria just came from vacation yesterday. And they spent time with friends from Polish school. So mm -hmm. we are not only school, but also we are almost like friends and family. Uh, they spend time of also together after the school, not only uh, during the school. So it's a lot of fun, and uh, welcome everyone to Pauli School and join us. Thank you for sharing that with us, and thank you for enlightening us and experiencing this wonderful culture. Uh, so with that being said, is there something that you could teach me quickly before our segment ends that I could possibly use for to wow my in-laws. Yes. Oh, oh. Then, uh, so when they are leaving yes. and you had a great time with them, you can say do zobaczenia. Do zobaczenia. Means like see you soon. Do zobaczenia. Do zobaczenia. Great. So with that, we'll end our segment for today. Do zobaczenia. Everyone, take care. Zobaczenia.